following new developments within just the last few hours regarding the Fulton County case against the former President Donald Trump and his co-defendants. A federal appeals court here in Atlanta heard arguments this morning as to whether co-defendant Mark Meadows, Trump's former chief of staff, should have his case moved to federal court. Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Schramm was inside the courtroom. Attorneys for former Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows arrived at the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals with a tough task, trying to convince a three-judge panel, two of them appointed by presidents who are Democrats, that a lower court judge was wrong when he declined to remove the Republicans' case from state court and send it to federal court. The argument that was being made by his lawyer was basically, hey, he was chief of staff, anything he did is covered by the removal statute because he did it as chief of staff. And that's not a very good argument, but that's really seemed to be all that Meadows' lawyer really had to say. Georgia State University professor of law Clark Cunningham sat in on the appeal hearing where cameras are not allowed. But the panel was really tough on the fact that Meadows could not very effectively describe what the limits of his office were. Cunningham says he also found it interesting that the judges spent a lot of time talking about their interpretation that the removal statute only applies to current federal officials. If that decision uh, is made that it, the statute does not apply to former officers, which no court has ever decided up till now, um, that that has a lot of significance uh, for the country. But it also means, I think, that these particular defendants have a much longer delay because I think the U.S. Supreme Court will take the case then. Mark Meadows did not attend the appeal hearing. No timeline yet on when the court might announce its decision. In downtown Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, Atlanta News First.